We've got a Sunbelt versus Mac game, and the Mac team is favored by eight and a half. Bowling Green at home, minus eight and a half, total of 51 and a half against Old Dominion. And this one's tricky. Uh, Bowling Green played at Texas A&M last week, and Bowling Green has not won a game in uh, damn near a month. It's been a while. Uh, this Old Dominion defense is feisty. Number 63 in PPA allowed per drive. Number 59 PPA allowed per play, but their offense just can't get very much going. Bowling Green, on the other hand, number 31 in offensive PPA per drive, but they're number 118 in defensive PPA per drive allowed. Uh, strength of schedule, Old Dominion, number 69. Bowling Green is number 13. Well, that's because Bowling Green played Penn State and Texas A&M, both on the road, and they hung to within a touchdown of both of them. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot because you come back home, it, that defense, like I said, number 98 PPA per rush allowed, number 115 in PPA per pass allowed, but Old Dominion can't really do anything with it, right? That's that's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, but you're looking at five factors plus talent. Bowling Green, number 107, and Old Dominion, number 125. I mean, Old Dominion did hold up pretty well against South Carolina. I, I think that this is the kind of game that if you're Bowling Green, you can kind of overlook it a little bit. It's still non-conference. It's not a MAC game. I've got Bowling Green stats-wise favored by 6.65. Uh, stats plus power rating, I've got Bowling Green by 7.7. 7. You, you would not believe this, but this number is all over the place. And I believe at DraftKings, you can get Old Dominion plus 10. I think that's where it is. Uh, so I'm going to take the 10. I, I think, like, I like Bowling Green to win the MAC. I think that Old Dominion can hang around in this game. I think the pace of play will certainly uh, be part of that. Let's see. Plays per game. Yeah, Bowling Green, number 115 in plays per game. Old Dominion is number 62. Now, Old Dominion's defense is dead last in giving up offensive plays, but a lot of that has to do with who they've played, etc. So, uh, Bowling Green, they're not going to play fast. I don't think there's enough to get separation here, especially by double digits. So, I'll take Old Dominion plus the 10 on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question... You can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.